Greetings. Many years ago, I think it was probably 1981. Wow, that's going way back. Anyway, one of the people who was on the show, her name was Mary Gross. And she did this skit where she was this sarcastic nun. And the bishop came to talk to her about it because she was the one who was in charge of all the other nuns. And she would use sarcasm as her response to almost everything. The problem was all the other nuns didn't realize it was sarcasm. So she would say these things and these nuns would go do you know, the things that she said. And sometimes the consequences were pretty bad. And she just could not pick up on it. She couldn't believe that anyone would be stupid enough, in her opinion, to actually do what she said without remembering that she was the top of the nuns and that they were just going to do whatever she said. And I thought about that because when I was in a leadership position, when I was, you know, actual employee, and then when I've done some interims, I've always known that I'm in a certain position over people and their loyalty or not, there were things that I knew that I couldn't say in a certain way because you never know how people are going to take that. I also knew that I also had to make sure that I didn't tell something to someone that made them think that they had to do something that I didn't say to do. And, you know, I think that a lot of people who are in leadership positions don't necessarily understand the kind of influence that they can have on somebody. When I've done leadership training or wanted to talk to people, I've always said, was the top person of the company going to show up? And it's always been no. <laughs> and the thing is that the person at the very top needs to come at least once because if that person doesn't show up, then nobody else in the company is going to accept it because they're going to say, well, you know what, the brass didn't care, so why should I care? And it doesn't matter what the presenter does because there's not that top person or those top people in there to see what the leadership trainer is trying to get them to understand. That's the thing about influence. If you're in a leadership position and you don't show that you care, then why should anyone else care? I've always thought about that. And I think that we're starting to see more of that lately. I hate to say in politics, but we are seeing that. Where it doesn't always seem that the leaders care and then we don't care. There's some people who care, but they care more in a hateful way than they do in a positive way. And that's not good either. So this is relatively short because every once in a while I need to do a short one where I really want to say that if you're in a leadership position, if you're a parent, if you're a teacher, if you're a coach, think about what you're saying to the people who report to you or that you are responsible for because you could be saying the wrong thing or you could be saying the right thing in the wrong way and you'll be wondering why you're not getting the results you're looking to get. That's short. My name is Mitch Mitchell. I hope you all have a wonderful day.